In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to clear the RAM cache in a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 PC. So by doing this, your PC is definitely going to work even more faster as compared to how your PC is performing right now. But if you watch my video completely till the end, you're going to learn about a bonus tip that I'm going to share with you. If you use that strategy along with clearing up your RAM cache, your PC is going to work at its optimum level. It's going to be fast, smooth and easy to use. So keep your eyes on the video till the end. So the first thing is to clear RAM cache, all you have to do is get to your task manager. So control alt delete, or you could also do a search for task manager out here. Okay. And uh, get to the task manager. You're going to get a pop-up like this. You expand this and then you click on performance. Then you click on memory and get to this part. So you could see that your cache memory is 4.9 GB, which is a lot of memory. You need to free up this. All right, you cannot do it directly from your PC. So you would have to get to the Microsoft website to download a software, which is very small in size and is actually approved by them. It's totally safe, not to worry. So let's minimize that and uh, do a search for RAM map on Google. And the first suggestion, which is on the official Microsoft website, click on that link. So this is RAM map version 1.61. All right, so this is the latest version. You click on download RAM map and exe file is downloaded. It's a zip file, so you could just uh, click on it and, and get to the folder. But you're going to use the application, which is biggest in size. So 331 kilobyte is the highest. So you double click on that and then you click on uh, extract and then you could select the destination folder and extract files out there. So once it is done, just get to the folder. And then you could see that the application is installed in this folder. Okay. So you just do a right click out here towards the icon. Okay. Not in the middle and click on run as administrator and then click on yes, click on agree. And then within a few seconds, it gets installed and you have a window pop up like this. So let's keep this side to side with uh, the task manager. Now, if you click on empty, you get a drop down like this. You click on empty standby list. Just keep an eye on the cache memory out here. Okay, it's 4.3 GB. Click on empty standby list. And then you could see that this has been reduced drastically. So this is done. Your RAM cache is clear. And uh, I would suggest you keep this uh, on your PC. It's absolutely safe. Nothing to worry about. So you should make it a habit to clear your entire system cache every two days, not just the RAM cache. That is what I do and I ensure that my PC is working fine at its optimum level. Okay, so in order for you to clear the entire laptop's cache, the first thing what you need to do is just go ahead and click on this PC. You come to this page, click on Windows C, then you click on Windows, you scroll down and then click on software distribution, click on download and delete everything that is under downloads. Okay, close this. Open the run command Windows R, type in TEMP, hit the enter button of your laptop, select everything out here and delete it. If something is not getting deleted, it's okay. It means it is in use. So just uh, checkbox this and click on skip. And then you close this again, open the run command, percentage, temp percentage, click on okay, clear off everything. When I say clear off, you need to delete everything. Okay, that's what I mean. If these are not getting deleted, it's okay. Oh, checkbox this, click on skip, and then you close this folder. Next is run command, Windows R, prefetch. Hit the enter button of your laptop, delete everything out here. Next, run command, CMD, clear your DNS memory resolver cache. You could pause the video and just copy this command ipconfig forward slash flush DNS. Hit the enter button of your laptop. Next, Windows R, WS reset. This is going to reset the Microsoft Store for you. The next is you click on the file option out here. Click on file. You get a drop down menu. Click on uh, options. Click under privacy. Click on clear. Click on OK. 
this is going to clear off all the recent files or uh, folders or whatever you accessed all right so that is going to you know maintain some privacy also close this you could close this also it's complete next location it's not going to hurt your computer so it's absolutely okay clear location history close this clear restore point you could uh, get back some memory from your saved restore points checkbox that uh, for system c click on configure if you want you could just delete it if it is like over 200 mb or whatever if it is not you could leave it as it is but i would suggest every two or three days you do this entire process okay and then you create a new restore point name it new or or put in your name or whatever it is okay click on create and within a few seconds or a minute or two a new restore point is going to get created on your pc apart from this you could also go ahead and uh, do a control h for all the browsers and delete browsing data for all time uh, select everything and clear okay do this for all the browsers if you perform this procedure every two or three days your pc is never ever going to be slow and if you have any questions i'm always there to back you up send me an email take care my friend